Hi, I'm George Osborne. I'm at the App Promotion Summit Berlin, and I've been joined by Pan, who's the CEO at Remerge. Hi, Pan. How are things? Hi. Thank you. Very well. That's good. So what, what did Remerge do? Yeah, what we have uh, provided a new platform uh, which is focusing on app retargeting. Mm -hmm. So re-engaging users, uh, get transparency what the users are doing in the apps, uh, creating segments and running like campaigns into 50,000 others of apps to, in order to convert them uh, in doing and buying stuff in the, uh, in the app or yeah, just focusing on, on getting active users again into the app. Okay, so why did you go into this sector? What was the opportunity, did you think? Yeah, well, I was uh, actually uh, founder of Madvertise before, so we did like an ad network, a mobile ad network, and learned a lot about the RTB ecosystem and about the ecosystem at, um, in general. Then I was like three months in, in the US and was talking with a lot of uh, customers and clients and what is uh, are the opportunities. And uh, quite uh, fast, we thought about uh, doing something in retargeting, re-engagement. There's a lot of manual stuff going on there. Uh, but the results so far looked like really well. And uh, if you look at the user acquisition challenges, everybody's talking about user acquisition, how to get like new customers uh, in the cheapest way, most active way. Uh, but the question is like there are uh, companies outside who have like millions of users already. The question is how are you really doing marketing concepts on basis of uh, the existing users? And that's uh, where we come in. And with a really easy, simple tool to just get information of the users, to just uh, uh, set up targeting, retargeting campaigns uh, uh, with the goal of, of, re, of re getting like a longer customer lifetime value of the users. Okay, so how exactly does your tool, tool work in a yeah. sort of a, a simple way, I guess? Yeah, sure. Uh, first, you don't need an SDK. We're working with all the existing analytics and attribution providers directly where we're getting like all the data streams, uh, plus uh, also the th CRM systems or the own data warehouse systems of the customer. And then you get like transparency who's doing what. And uh, in the platform, you can choose like what kind of segments you want to uh, retarget, for example, labs users or users who have done a purchase and and with an uh, define like a conversion event like okay he needs to app, uh, open the app like three times then it's an active user again and then uh, you're running like uh, retargeting campaigns based on real-time bidding to our uh, to our partners like uh, Mopap uh, Google and so on and there we are looking where the user is where we show him a personalized message and then he gets back to the to the app and uh, gets maybe a reward or going to for to go for a purchase and uh, that's it so it's like a complete suit of, of the whole process uh, of setting up uh, retargeting campaigns on, uh, on a user base. Okay, so it sounds like retargeting is a really <laughs> important part of that marketing in the future. But have you got any other interesting mobile marketing trends that you think will be taking everyone's interest in 2015? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, thinking about customer lifetime value is the next step. Uh, a lot of, uh, as I said, uh, installing uh, users, getting users uh, in this broad, real global market uh, uh, was the, like, the first big thing in the last uh, two, three, four years. Uh, right now, I mean, we still need, there's a lot of uh, technology silos. We are also uh, seeing that the, a lot of data is there. Uh, somehow connecting the data is, uh, is a really important thing to just make like efficient and scalable uh, campaigns or marketing uh, chan channels, uh, which are really focusing on increasing the customer lifetime value. I mean, even also like uh, all the companies, they have like different aims. We had like one uh, um, slide there, which was like, find your aha moment. So what is the most important one where you can see, okay, this is where I'm going to head for because that is really working for uh, for my user base. And uh, yeah, somehow getting this data all together is a really important point. Uh, and I guess we are there still re really in the beginning. Uh, and uh, I'm really sure that there will be uh, a lot of companies uh, uh, out there uh, trying to solve the, this uh, silo, data silos uh, out there. So. Okay, well, that sounds like a really interesting challenge, right. but thank you very much for joining us, Pat. Okay, thank you. <laughs>